Click to choose the number of distribution boxes, as well as their dimensions and their position. Here we select two vertical distribution boxes, with dimensions 200 by 200 by 140. You can add other dimensions if you wish to. We need our base point to be at the top, and centered, without dimensioning. Validate. I specify the position of the command line to center them in this wall. There are two ways to position the distribution manifolds. Either after having specified the number of starts, by positioning them freely. Or, by inserting it in the distribution boxes. The positioning points are indicated. First, the partitions and then the wall. The manifold box is installed. Now that the boxes and the manifolds are positioned, we're going to draw the under slab network. Let's start routing. This is where you define your under slab pipe set. In our example, we have seven arrival points, three hot water and four cold waters. You can arrange your network using the up and down buttons. Validate once the pipe set is defined. Right click to access the options. Here, select Pick up on manifold and then draft it as you would a normal routing. Right click and choose Stop and continue without distorting. It allows the tubes to stay parallel. I only pick up on these two ducts. Right click to validate the selection and continue routing up to the arrival point. Quit. The command is finished. Local pickup commands let you continue a routing that you already started. Here we can continue these two ducts to bring them to their arrival point. Right-click to restart the same command. And right-click here to select Stop and Continue in order to continue only these ducts. Just click towards the back to undo the last command. Let's bring the duct up to its arrival point. Right-click and quit. The cut and move commands also let you make minor modifications on existing networks. The add offset command let you add an under slab network to an existing pipe set. Start the command and then select the network you wish to offset. As for the other networks, you can use the pickup command to continue the routing. Left click to select, then right click to validate the selection. Then bring it to its arrival point. Right click and quit. Once the networks are drafted, we can indicate the diameters in order to generate a bill of materials. Choose the type of specification and the diameter. It's a DN25 for these ducts. Left click to select them and then right click to validate the selection. Let's restart the command choosing a DN20 for the two bottom ducts. Right-click to validate. Let's start the bill of materials. It's available on AutoCAD as well as on Excel. Here we'll choose AutoCAD, and here is the result.